good. All right, let's see where this thing, uh... All right, we found Jericho, so now what? He's not even like telling him to like stand the car this time. He's just like, yeah, whatever, man. Hey, listen, I we can see it. Number five on the third, Lickety Split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me, send me back a week's wages. Come on. Hey, guys, it's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Damn, what kind of, what kind of that? All right, what are we, we skinning chicken wings now? Resistant arrest, breach of hygiene regulations. Oh, damn. All right, what do we got here? Who's this fella? Illegal gambling or fraud? I don't know who this guy is. Uh, can we scan, like, the food? See, like, is there a thing here where I can basically scan the chicken wings to see how much counts of bacteria are in the chicken? So I can save this guy from potential food poisoning, you know? <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey. Won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <laughs> I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You even <laughs> got a brown nose and apology program. Guys at Cyberlife thought everything, huh? There you go. Oh, wait, wait. I can scan it. Scan the food. Scan it. What is that? Lipids? Sit. What? That burger is 1,600 calories, man, and it's got lipids in it. Whatever the hell. I don't know what lipids are, but shit. Also, holy shit, 53% of that burger is water and salt. But, dude, 1,600 calories. Like, like, there's nothing from Burger King or fucking McDonald's that comes even close to that, man. 1,600 calories for a burger. No. It's Father's Day. Right. Might be nice because he asked what you were home today. I said, oh yeah, he's been home all day. Oh, all right. He just saw him the phone. All right, well, my, uh, I don't know, I don't know what a phone is, but my phone, I, I think my phone needs more, uh, minutes on it, but, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go find, I'll go find the phone. Uh, he's still in Jackson, right? Yeah. Ah. Thank you. Gary, I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. <laughs> Follow the burger. See? 
Cholesterol. <laughs> I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in illegal activities. Well, everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. Do you eat here often? Most days. Gary makes the best burger in Detroit. Yeah. About Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they nice. fucked up. <laughs> uh. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. All right. Come on. Proceed. Hit me. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Okay. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? <laughs> Why do you hate androids so much? Yeah. I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? Uh, deviants. Oh yeah. A few months back. Yep. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. There you go. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Yes. Everything there is to know about me. I know you graduated top of your class. Hey. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. <laughs> so he's what's a, your conclusion? He's a bad cop. Cold, psychological, and sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. Yeah. Wait, wait, what? I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Connor, you ran out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. no. I'm coming. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, we've got a suspect. Now, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have... What is this, feathers? We have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise. We're gonna need more cops. All right, what do we got here? Question the suspect, uh, we got feathers Hey, out. were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. We should <laughs> could do that. Anybody home? Hello. Open up, Detroit police. Stay behind me. Got it. Oh, baby, here we go.
Stay, stay behind you, man. Gotta scan the area. Scan the area. Alright, nothing in here that's out of the ordinary. Nothing new. Nothing here either. Alright. Ready? Go! Oh! What the fuck is this? Pigeons. Ugh. What? Jesus, this place stinks. Pigeons everywhere. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. See what's in the fridge. Is there? What is it? Okay, so he doesn't eat. So, all right, he's got to be an android. I mean, I'm not sure if uh, androids eat. I still don't know if they eat. eat wild animals. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in it. Jacket. Jacket? Yep. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Sample or tape? Sample. A blue blood. Alright, so this is definitely an android. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Ah, uh, R49. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. This is definitely weird. Alright, and alright, we got a chair here. What's what is this? No, it's oh it's a stool. Avian fecal matter? Avian? Oh you, you know, it's probably like bird, bird like bird shit. Ah, uh, he was writing that R049 thing here. And then, oh shit. Ah. Suspect ran. Whoop. <laughs> Ah, Jesus, I hate these things! Uh, whoa. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. We had to have come out this window here. Real books. Thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. Stu's got a weird pigeon obsession. Definitely weird. Gravitating steel. What did that mean? Alright. Fingerprints. Bird shit. And the wire broke. Alright, recently broken during the reconstruct.
towards the entrance, so... Alright, so we ran out the bathroom thing here, came back, smacked that freaking thing out of the way, ran toward the door, and then... Alright, here we are. So we... But that's a... Alright, so he heard us come in, so... So he was like, oh shit! I, 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 no, 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 can't go that way! Right off, smack dab on his face. And then he... ran for the chair. Oh my god, he's still here. That son of a bitch. Electronic books, you can't... smell the paper. Let's see the pages turning yellow. What the hell? You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Be careful, man. He could be armed. Ah! Oh! Goddamn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting for? Chase it! Go! Go, man, go! Oh yeah, go get him, Connor! Let's go! Uh, easy but slow, fast but risky. Go! Fast but risky. Go, 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 go! I like the risk. Go! Out of the way, people! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Go! Come on, Connor! Jump! There you are. Ah! There you are. Safer into a path person. Going to save the detour. Taking the ladder. Go, Connor, go! Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, got chase. I can't believe I just I've done nothing wrong. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. Oh. Bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission! I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. 
are you doing this? Ah, right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up! Sorry, man, but I had to get the Go suspect. On. It said chance of survival, 89%. I mean, yeah, he'll hate me. Hey, what the fuck? committed suicide. Damn. Wait, so is there a thing where Rupert doesn't push Hank? Find a find the LED final three things and then boom. Ugh. Hey guys, what's up? They're all acting a little, uh... Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. North? Uh... And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those yeah. who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Oh. I so we can be free. Find Jericho. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. Yeah. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. This is Jericho? Yeah. It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's yeah. not how I see freedom. You're lost. Yeah. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Ugh, Lucy. I, I, I still can't believe I didn't save that dude. Like, he hates me now and the guy is dead. Like we got jack shit out of all for all of that. 